And the guy speaks nicely, seems like he knows what he's talking about, has cool videos on YouTube, nice logo in the background, blah, 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 blah. Looks really good and they start listening and, and doing what he tells them. And sometimes they're gonna give them some rituals, practices, spells and other things that will be very harmful. And the consequences might not be very obvious. So be careful because I see quite a lot of these guys. Hey, this is Mike Sigla from TrueFury.com and welcome to another episode of True Spirituality. So True Spirituality is my series where I talk about metaphysics, spirituality, esoteric concepts and ideas. And this is already episode 50 something. So if you are interested in these types of topics, check out other videos as well. So this is slightly different to other type of content I create. Sometimes I talk about personal development, sometimes I talk about the system, how it works, and sometimes I delve into spirituality because this is my passion. And we have a series called True Spirituality on this channel where this is what we cover. So today we're gonna to talk about how to choose the right holistic therapist, what kind of psychics or holistic therapists or coaches or gurus avoid what kind of rituals also can be dangerous and you know same with retreat places and things like that so you know i remember one of my first uh readings it was a past life reading was around 2002 or 2003 so i've been interested in these types of topics for 20 years now and over this period I've had all sorts of experiences with countless psychics, coaches, therapists, um, you know, astrologers, whatever, you know, holistic coaches, uh, nutritionists, whatever, different types of people and also I experimented with a lot of practices and rituals and techniques and I've had a pretty good experience on what works, what doesn't work. There were a lot of negative experiences as well and this is why I want to create this video because I think especially if you are just getting on this path of you know personal development spirituality and you start looking for answers you start looking for your own things that you want to use like techniques like rituals like practices like you know some kind of uh, gurus or whatever people you're gonna listen for advice or anything it's good to understand a couple of things so i actually do coaching one-on-one -on -one as well and mentoring and I help people to align with their higher selves and get more synchronicities in life and unfold the optimal organic path for them. So if you are interested, uh, have a look at truefury.com forward slash coaching. And now let's talk about the topic. So first thing I wanna say is that no one is ever 100% right about everything. This is like very simple wisdom or knowledge or truth but it's important to remember that because lives are so complex and we are complex and there are many different forces many different fields no one ever knows everything everyone specializes typically in some specific areas sometimes in more than one but you know nature of things is complex so it is really important to remember that there is no person out there who will be always correct about everything. Keep that in mind whenever you hear some advice, whenever someone is recommending someone, whenever you see a guy who seems to be like world famous and you think this guy knows what he's doing, what he's talking about, they might be, they might be not. And sometimes they might be like 70% accurate, 30% inaccurate, things like that. I make mistakes myself sometimes as well. That's it, this is the nature of things. So do not, believe whatever and question everything same with what i tell you i just tell you things that i know i understand and i share it and you take it you do what you want with it you can question my claims whatever that's your choice you have to be responsible for your own decisions always so first thing to remember no one is always right about everything everyone makes mistakes 
Same when it gets to therapists, holistic therapists, coaches, gurus, whatever. Same like you go to a doctor, one doctor is gonna help one person and not gonna help someone else who is gonna misdiagnose them. Same is with gurus, holistic therapists, coaches, life coaches, psychics. Keep that in mind. You know, there are people out there who might think they know what they're doing, but they might be wrong about many things. Uh, there are people out there who are intentionally trying to, let's say, they work for the dark side, like some shamans or whatever. So these types of people, you know, might be dangerous and they might appear as someone who is know what they're doing as well. So there are all sorts of cases here. There are some people who just try to sell you their stuff and, uh, you know, they're not interested if it's gonna help you or not. So many different scenarios, many different cases. I, I've seen situations where there are very good practitioners focusing on very unique uh, holistic method, which is very beneficial. And this person gonna be wrong about half of the stuff, but still they get very good results because their method is very unique and it's helpful. You know, recently I had a situation where uh, basically, you know, I would go to one holistic practitioner, she would help me, but then she would not be able to help my friend. And then my friend would go to another one, that person would help her and the other person wouldn't really help me or, or would only help partially or something like that. So, you know, as with anything, just something to keep in mind that nothing is black or white ever. Sometimes I'm seeing people who might be very, very good at whatever they're doing, like some life coach or some therapist, and their egos take over and then they start making mistakes and they don't allow feedback because they think they know it all because they are so great. And, uh, and then, you know, their practice is spoiled and they start making mistakes and things like that. So all sorts of scenarios, always look at these signals and try to evaluate things yourself. I've seen a lot of people who think that if someone is famous or they, they have a lot of followers or whatever, or they have, I don't know, like some famous book, best-selling book or something, that means they are really good. <laughs> It depends. They might be very good at marketing themselves, for example, and not very good with in-depth knowledge. And typically, the most popular things, not always, but sometimes, you know, they are for the masses. And the masses, you know, they like crap. So, <laughs> same like with music. You know, you look at the most popular musicians and they're often like completely talentless, like auto-tune voices with like fake everything scripted and the real musicians are underground, right? Same thing here. If I read these like top personal development books, I, I think this is like a knowledge for 15 year old people, or some, some teenagers, but you know, millions of people buy these books because they are written in a nice way, they got good marketing and stuff like that. So, and I've seen people who you never heard of at all, they are very niche, unknown, and they do brilliant work for way less money as well. And so, so another, another thing to think about, what is shiny is not always uh, the best, you know, those who bark the loudest, not always the ones you should listen to. So obviously everything is different, every case is different. I'm just giving you very broad general ideas here. Another group, like a lot of these people that teach law of attraction, they basically repeat everything the same from secret or the secret or whatever. And uh, so it sounds really good to a lot of new people who are like, listening to this, oh, you know, you can manifest anything you want in your life. Just visualize, focus, meditate, desire it, blah, 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 blah. And what happens is that, first of all, like a lot of people have these superficial ego-based desires. I want a billion dollars, I want a Ferrari. Oh, I keep visualizing a billion dollars in my bank account and it doesn't come. <laughs> you know, whatever goals you have, the way that the law of attraction works is that 
it starts aligning you towards the path so you become vibrational match for your goal and if your goal is very high very far from where you are now you're gonna have probably a serious journey to get there and uh, over this time like let's say i don't know someone wants to manifest a billion dollars i i've seen this kind of people thinking that you know i don't know use law of attraction it's just gonna happen what it might happen it, you might start getting ideas to i don't know start a business or whatever join some business or opportunity or something like that but you need to become the match and the path might start unfolding but all the responsibilities and stress and things that you're gonna go have to go through to get to that goal gonna just drain you completely you would not be able to do them most people wouldn't and probably you wouldn't even want to so where are your goals coming from this is what a lot of these like you know law of attraction teachers talk about and, and then oh you can do anything you can have and people start doing that and often like the path that unfolds for them is making them miserable unhappy stressed depressed way harder than they thought like thousands of times harder than they thought and there are all sorts of other negative consequences that are created because people get in contracts when they desire something when they desire um you know selfish things ah there are some some like entities that might think mm, i gotta help you <laughs> but there's gonna be a little fee at the end that you're not gonna even know about where it came from how it manifests so watch out for these types of gurus or new age whatever law of attraction guys there seems to be quite a lot of them these days really i think what people should focus on is is to manifest what is good for them and not necessarily like these crazy goals that sound good because you know that's what the society tells them and bring them a lot of negative consequences there are also like totally hijacked gurus let's say or some kind of people out there that i've seen who normally like really work for the dark side sometimes they know it sometimes they don't even fully understand it and and they're gonna you know try to get attention of people who are maybe like brand new to these types of fields or uh, you know putting their first steps and the guy speaks nicely seems like he knows what he's talking about has cool videos on youtube nice logo in the background blah blah blah, blah. looks really good and they start listening and and doing what he tells them and sometimes they're gonna give them some rituals practices spells and other things that will be very harmful and the consequences might not be very obvious so be careful because i see quite a lot of these guys on youtube and uh, you know they might appear as everything is cool you know they kind of oh don't believe in religion believe in spirituality la 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 freedom and then they, they kind of drop some dangerous ideas there and uh, you know try to kind of hijack these new people who are fresh and don't understand how it all works there are a lot of people like that so another thing to keep in mind and always just be vigilant you know if something like you get signals and doesn't seem right hmm, maybe it's not the right thing then you get these tantra gurus that basically a lot of them are just sex addicts I try to cover that with spirituality and you know pretending that they're spiritual same is with these law of attraction guys that basically only are interested in making money and then basically pushing a lot of this stuff on others that then creates results that are not always beneficial as well so you know as i say everyone is different there are all sorts of variations i'm just giving you some general thoughts here to consider because you know you might uh, you know get advices from people that might not be very good advices for you even for myself i'm not saying believe everything i'm just giving you knowledge information and do what you want with it you can trust you cannot you don't have to you can you know question everything okay another thing coming back to these like really famous people out there a lot of people think that if something is very expensive 
you know, that means the guy is the best of the best. And I've seen a lot of like coaches, especially life coaches, that charge like tens of thousands of dollars for some programs. And uh, they are pretty average. <laughs> Honestly, like really average, but they just want to like target a niche of people that are wealthy and a lot of these people think that if they spend more money on something that brings them more value but for an average person that can't afford it maybe that's that's definitely might not be a good option and you, if you're gonna look carefully you might find someone who's gonna offer similar things or even better things for one tenth of the price for example sometimes so it's a really always depends on things depends on many different uh, scenarios here another thing is that often people at the very beginning i've noticed uh, they resonate with maybe not the best teachers not the best sources of knowledge i've had these kind of situations myself some of the first books i remember i was reading were now i think about them talk complete bs so I've seen it often, like at the beginning, sometimes people might attract not the best types of information or sources or whatever. So also something to think about. Another thing with retreats, when you go to like some ayahuasca retreat or place like that, do your research really thoroughly because uh, plenty of really not very good places, psychedelics are not for everyone. Keep that in mind a lot of hype positive information is released in the last couple of years and you know this is like a really uh, specific dangerous thing you know it might be dangerous might not be dangerous but everyone is different so always be cautious and do your research as much as you can and if something doesn't seem right then probably is, isn't don't force things like that don't force anything that's really important you know i've seen people who think that ah oh, this retreat place gonna heal me and all my problems gonna go away <laughs> probably not gonna work like that it might give you a little shake slap in the face cold shower so you wake up and start paying attention to whatever you're not doing right and then the real work begins you start working on healing that aspect or fixing yourself so you know rarely you're gonna have an instant healing and things like that and everything's gonna be fine and all these types of things that's rarely the case and you know sometimes it might happen a little bit and then you still have to do a lot of work afterwards or you might come back to the pattern if you're not gonna be uh, you know keeping yourself at high vibrations afterwards okay very quickly about uh, rituals practices so there are a lot of books about all sorts of practices and rituals lots of uh, teachers talk about these types of things and the more i understand things the more i've tried all sorts of stuff on myself sometimes with really bad consequences i've done it and it wasn't fun and i want others to avoid that the more i understand that really it's good to avoid rituals and practices depends what kind of practices but especially like some kind of rituals and uh, spells or oh, spells no affirmations hmm, depends but basically um you know nothing is free <laughs> if you start manifesting something using some ritual or some spell uh, there's gonna be consequences nothing's gonna come for free typically there are entities that attached to that so so that's always ends up in a negative scenario or sometimes people think they get something short term sounds looking good and then long term there are consequences and really bad ones but sometimes the consequences are not very obvious so avoid any kind of rituals any kind of spells i would say be very cautious about anything like that i've seen really bad scenarios happening from from things like that and the only things i would advise is meditation working on yourself increasing your vibration you know things like that um, and then listening to guidance from your higher self I, I talk a lot about higher self have a look at my other videos this is really the big thing for me that when i tune into my intuition my higher self and i ask for help and guidance the higher self delivers brings me ideas brings 
you know, synchronicities and things like that. And then whatever I need, I don't have to know if this is a good holistic therapist or whatever, or book or whatever, because the higher self brings me what's good for me, what's right for me. So this is like the key, I would say, let me give you some examples recently. You know, I had some like, I'm, I'm having some uh, leaky gut issues and basically need to heal my gut. And uh, boom, you know, I'm meeting a person who is like a nutritionist for 20 years and she like really wants to help me and gives me uh, some free advice on how to improve my diet and things like that. And, uh, you know, we become friends. So what I need comes to me when I need it, you know, and I've, this is how I do things. So the right kind of teachers, the right kind of gurus, the right kind of books, the right kind of coaches, the right therapists, whatever it is that is going to be good for you, that's going to be right for you, it's going to start coming. And this is how you can choose the right things. This is how also what I teach people when I do coaching one-on-one. -on -one. So if you're interested to, you know, open some of these things for yourself a little bit more, get in touch. Uh, but honestly, like, you know, just to give you an idea how, how you can start, it's just like ask my higher self, please guide me and protect me. And whatever like you need, let's say, I don't know, my higher self, please help me to heal this aspect, something like that. And mean that, but that's it. My higher self, not ask anyone else anything different than that. This is the thing This already starts uh, you know, intention here and, and that might unfold into something. But then you need to pay attention to whatever unfolds because synchronicities can start coming in all sorts of shapes and forms and you might not be able to see them sometimes. So, you know. <laughs> okay, to finish off, I just want to say that really there are no quick fixes or rarely there are. And even if you're going to find something like that, still you're going to have to maintain high state later on because if you're not gonna you know maintain the balance and high state of vibration later on you're gonna come back to the old pattern so really the key is just systematic work on yourself <laughs> this is the secret same like for thousands of years nothing new you just work on yourself keep improving and uh, you know evaluating what's wrong if, if some you keep attracting same negative situation scenarios then there is a pattern that you need to discover. Sometimes you might want to work with coach, so someone like me, for example, or uh, you know, uh, just just try to see what is the issue.